back everybody so today we're going to try another one from big lake brewing company this is rum barrel aged undertaking imperial stout 14 percent abv per untapped undertaking rum beer barrel aged is what they're calling it now jessica did go up to holland and to big lake and picked up a four pack with four different ones so uh the undertaking i do have a review up this is the second one so there's two more after this um this has been sitting out for an hour so it'll depend on you how warm you like your imperial stouts barrel aged stouts uh porters whatever um usually 45 minutes to an hour is fine by me but I do drink my coffee cold so I would drink this right out of the fridge but for I guess a review I will I I'll let them warm up most of the time sometimes if there's coffee in them I drink them straight and I'll say it in the video this was pulled right out because again I like my coffee cold so I would rather drink my Imperial Stouts, barrel-aged beers, cold. Heads dying down, could be from the barrel. Uh, color on this one, I would say it's black. I'm not going to put my phone on, but I see black. Good enough for me. If I can see it from here, I mean, there's a slight dark brown hue at the very bottom of the teardrop, but I mean, it's like very very thin on there so yeah definitely black let's go ahead and smell and my goal was to do all four of these in one day which i was going to but then i thought about it there's no way i could drink four 14 percent abv barrel aged stouts in a day because i i like to see what the difference is in them and i like how they did this i believe they're all called undertaking um, just in different things, like I, maybe, actually, I didn't even look, but if this is a rum barrel, maybe a bourbon barrel, a tequila barrel, something else, uh, will be the last two, but yeah, that's just me, I like variety, and seeing how they step that up, that rum, that alcohol, uh, is really sticking out on this one, but I do get like a Tootsie Roll, slight sweet chocolate in there but like that barrel that rum alcohol oaky barrel is what I get the most of but it, it's almost like it drops way back it's not like a fudgy chocolate it's a Tootsie Roll so I would consider that a lighter chocolate in my opinion smells young like it's almost like that chocolate wants to get bigger but that barrel alcohol is fighting it um i don't remember what the regular undertaking was so if you've watched that you might have to go back and uh, watch that to see what the difference is but i believe that was just the straight version I want to say that was 13%, not 14%, but I could be wrong. I would think putting it in a barrel would up it. I would say some dark fruits like plum, dark cherry um, coming out of there. Technically, I would say almost your standard bigger imperial stout smells i don't get as much like tobacco leather on this but i think that rum barrel is covering it up it smells hot let's go ahead and taste like an ashy dark chocolate like there's some bitterness in there but like the ashiness the charcoal from burning the barrels is very present, but it's like there was a lot of chocolate in here and that's coming through still. It's breaking through that barrel. Hmm. Definitely don't pick that much chocolate up in the nose. It's definitely there. 
like ashy charcoal medium chocolate light fudgy chocolate some sweetness is there as it goes back I almost want to say like a smokiness like a smoky bitterness in the back end of that it does in the taste taste more aged more mellowed out than what the smell is it's not like that barrel is directly in your face you're still getting a little oak whatever that rum barrel is in there but i think like that charred that ashy light fudgy chocolate kind of takes over a little burning sensation down in here but not that much at all for 14 percent I think it's quite good um for me I wish there was more chocolate like very fudgy chocolate but that's just me um I'd go 4.25 out of 5 the body's good. If anything, maybe a touch on the medium side, not heavy side. But I think if they could up that, make it a thicker body, get more fudginess out of there, darker fudginess, um, at least for me, that would, that would definitely score it higher. Because I think they kind of go hand in hand because I'm saying like light fudginess, that could be because the the body is less medium. Like definitely if you had heavy medium, it's in the middle of those two, maybe pushing towards the heavy, but not all the way there. Like the bold flavors would say it should be. In my opinion, um, I think that alcohol burn is keeps creeping up a little bit more as you drink it. It definitely lets you know it's there, which is probably a good thing. I don't get a tartness from like a dark cherry or even from the darker malts. I would say if anything more like leather there is a little bit of leather in there in the taste like higher 500 srm malts uh being used which i'm gonna go out on a limb and say they used a lot of it to make it black where a lot of these i guess newer like say the last two three years big barrel aged beards beers are not typically black in my opinion that I've scored them I was trying to look over there to see if I had one but it's it there's another one over there um, yeah I, I think in the aftertaste as your palate warms up maybe a little bit of that I want to say oak it kind of has that same taste rum barrel I I'm guessing it's oak, um, but I don't know for sure. But that like woodiness comes out a little bit more as your palate warms up. Yeah, I I would actually say that rum you can add, you can I can tell I drink more bourbon. There's more bourbon barrel aged beers, so tasting a rum barreled beer like i want to say it's the oak that's in there like they just put the rum in oak i'm guessing but that rum does have a different flavor it's almost drier in my opinion i almost want to say like gnawing on wood like dry oak um is what i'm getting where obviously i think a bourbon barrel beer uh, something like that. It's it's actually smoother. You get that vanilla. 
in there, where on the rum you don't, but that's just my opinion. 4.25 is what I'm going with. Chatted enough. Let's go ahead and check untapped. Uh, none of my friends have checked it in. 32 people have 4.13 out of 5. Um, our triple mash, double boiled imperial stout aged in rum barrel. In a rum barrel. I forgot. Um, yeah, triple mashed. So that means they do the mash three times to pull out all the sugars. So they put water in there. I Again, I don't know how long they do. I'm just telling you kind of how a home brewer would do it. You'd have mash ton with your grains in there. You would put enough water in there to make it like a porridge. Um, after an hour, you would vlor off, drain that off. Then I'm guessing, do they put triple mash? I'm guessing they add new water, do the hour, drain that off, do another thing of water, drain that. I don't, I don't think you would want to put whatever you pull off the first mash back in there because I think you would still go up in sugar probably because you would still pull pull more out, but not as much as a new batch. I'm guessing so they do that three times. Uh, double boiled. So if they boil it for an hour, are they? Boiling that again for another hour. Triple mash, double boiled. Yeah, so maybe they put in the same amount so they get double the volume. And so you boil for an hour, you'll be at the standard volume. Then you'll boil again to get to what you're putting in the fermenter. Yeah. So rich barrel aged, strong, sweet rum. I didn't say a lot about sweetness. I don't think it's overly sweet. I would say no. It's definitely not dessert style or anything like that. So let's see what somebody said. Second best, uh, okay. Second best out of the mixed four pack, which I was talking about. Um, I'm not gonna read any more of those because I, tech, I, I try not to look at anything before I do these. I did see something about rye, and I do like rye. Um, yeah, nobody else is really saying anything. Huh. Weird. Oh no, be. It, because that's because none of my friends did it. But yeah, if you're into barrel aged beers, rum, definitely one to pick up and try. If you enjoyed this review, check some more beers out over here, reviews. And until next time, cheers.